If you're on social media, then uh, you've no doubt seen this. This video went around the world twice this weekend. People everywhere with opinions on a high schooler's interaction with a Native American man. But we're learning today there's much more to the story. News Ace Tiffany Liu shows us the power and sometimes abuse of social media. The initial video clip blew up over the weekend. Viewers saw a high school teenager wearing a Make America Great Again hat, standing and smiling at a Native American during multiple protests going on in Washington, D.C. It was a small clip, and the Internet focused on that face. The reaction was not good. This story automatically, by this picture, causes us to divide ourselves up. It polarizes us into this group or that group without any context of the story at all. John Potter teaches dispute resolution at SMU. He knows all too well how one image can frame a story, but there was much more. Another longer video clip was later released. There's five of us and they got us surrounded, no. King. Look at this garbage. No. It showed context, but not clarity. I watched the whole hour. There were a few groups in Washington that day. There was an indigenous people rally, the March for Life was happening, and a group of black Hebrew Israelites were present. All three groups there for a passionate cause. You see a lot of racial tension. Here come again. The Native American man says he stepped in to relieve the racial tension. The student through a PR firm says he was only trying to remain calm, nothing more. The point is that first image is what went around the world. A story like this divides us. When you combine hate and social media, it is not easy going back. Was there someone at fault? Was it like, well, what are your thoughts on that one? Yeah, there's absolutely someone at fault. It's all of us, all of us. Tiffany Liu, Channel 8 News.